Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how you use Python and Amazon's simple notification service uh, backend in order to send texts. So, um, the first thing you need to do um, for this tutorial is um, install uh, or a package called um, Boto Free. So, um, so for those um, not using PyCharm, pip install Boto Free. Um, we'll install the package. If you are using PyCharm, simply type into the available packages menu. Boto free, and as you can see, it's the Amazon Web Service Software Development Kit for Python. So, install that package. Excellent. So we've installed that package. Okay. So, uh, the next thing we need to do is make an Amazon Web Service account. Now, I'm not going to go over how you do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Whenever you go onto the Amazon Web Service account, uh, web service page, there's going to be a create create account button. Um, so create an account. Um, and during that process, you will find out what your uh, what your nearest uh, Amazon uh data center is like where where it is geographically. In my case, it's in Ireland. Um, and as a result, you will also uh know your certain uh, uh region. Um, to where that um data center is. Um, that will come. That will be very important. Um, uh, follow in the in the tutorial. So, uh, once you've made your account, uh, go into your. This is your like main page, your management console, and go to find services and type in IAM. So this is um the. Identity and Access Management Service. So, this is essentially um, the service used to uh, manage the users of all your other services. Um, for this, uh, we're going to with this we're going to make a user account for Python to use essentially. So, um, in this little scroll bar, um, go to Users. And we're going to add a user now. Users name. Um, this can be whatever you want. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it test user. All one word, and I'm gonna give it programmatic access. So um, now you've decided that um, you've given your user name and pro programmatic access. Um, you're now going to want to give it a give it permissions. So. Um, Go from add users to group to attach existing policies directly, and in the policies search uh, search um, bar, type in SNS. This produces free um, um, uh, simple notifications uh, service uh, policies. Um, click the one that says uh, SNS full access. Um, okay, so here we've got um, the option to add tags. Okay, um, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to skip to review. So um, you should have your user here, programmatic access with an access key um, and ignore permission boundary. Now, Whenever you click create user, you'll be given um, two keys. Those two keys are very important. Um, so um, you're going, um, I'm going to click this now, but I'm going to obviously um, black out the, the actual keys. Um, so we're going to click that now. Okay. So test user and then you've got uh, access key ID and you've got secret access key which has been asterisked so it's very hard to you know um, retrieve these keys if you navigate away from this page so what I would do is just copy and paste both the access key ID and the secret access key into like notepad or something 
um, and save them um, just until we get um, going here. So that's what I'm going to do and we're going to make a cut here and I will come back to you once I've done that. Okay, once you've done that and you've closed the um, creation of a user, um, you'll see the uh, user here. Um, if we go um, to the um, Boto Free Documents um, uh, documents page here, um, you will see that we will, we need um, the AWS command line interface, or alternatively, you can um, follow this method. But for me, um, the easiest method is to uh, download this command line interface. So um, there's installers here for Windows and methods for Mac and Linux. Um, I've already installed it, um, and essentially, what this is is a not an it's not a separate command line interface. Uh, <laughs> As, as you're led to believe, but it's actually just a set a, a, a set of commands used to interact with the AWS. So it will be in your command prompt or your terminal um, uh, initially. No, no, not initially. It will be, uh, be present now once you've installed the command line interface. So anyway... Um, don't worry, it's not uh, the this this is um this is useful. So please install it. Um, so once you've done that, once you've done that, and you've downloaded and installed the Amazon Web Service command line interface, we are going to open terminal or command prompt. Um, I'm gonna make it big. Okay, so here we are in my users folder. So what you need to type in is AWS space and then configure, okay? Now when you press enter, it'll take a little second and then you will be prompted for your access key ID and your, okay, access key ID. So type that in. The reason why I'm not being prompted with the access keys is because I have already inputted my keys already so it's just coming up with the my access key and it's just been censored so whenever you input your access key hit enter secret access key again put it in okay so default region name now I remember I said Ireland was my um, the country country the web services uh, the closest data center is in that country and Ireland. Um, for that web server, um, for that data center even, um, uh, I was told that the region name is EU-West-1. If it's not that, like if, if it, for, say um, you're in a different region, um, I believe that um, the, whenever you register your account, you're, you're told what um, region name you're, you should be using. If not, just simply search it up online. Um, okay, and then the last thing you'll be asked is a default output format. Now, just ignore that, just press enter, okay? So, okay. Um, so, I'm going to make a little cut here and in check to see if my access keys and my uh, secret access key is correct and we will be um, going forward from there. Okay, so I have gone and changed my keys so they're the ones I've, I've now defined. So you should have your equivalent of that now on the screen um, or something similar. Um, so we've now got our... Um, We've now assigned our keys to this computer, or your computer you're using. Um, now we're going to navigate back to um, the Amazon Web Service. Okay, and now we're going to be going for the SNS, the Simple Notification Service. Okay, so uh here we are yes okay so 
we're going to go to um, this little tab here um, and we're going to pull that out and we're going to go text messaging SMS okay so um, we've got our little pop-up here and let's see let's see so I've um, sent um, an e a text message sorry right <laughs> okay so um, text message preferences okay so this is what was funny um, I whenever I was testing this I, I forgot the region code for um, this uh, for, for my um, phone number so um, I accidentally sent a text message to the Russian Federation but um, anyway anyway um, anyway text message preferences so um, you will not see any of that because you've not sent a text message. So anyway, so scroll down until you see text message preferences. Okay, click edit. Okay, so um, default message type. Now I um, I I would choose promotional um, because I think you're charged extra for transactional because of course they're of higher priority. So just choose promotional. Um, you can also set a speed. Uh, uh, it's not a speed limit. A spend limit. So, it would be a, like for for low scale projects. Um, this isn't really. I think you get a certain number of free text messages per month or something. So, um, so long as you don't overdo it, you won't be um charged a lot. Um, I've just put um uh, a span limit of one dollar. Um, just in case somehow we go over it. Um, now, um, because I don't want to spend any more than that, um, you can obviously attune to your scale of your project. Um, so anyway, uh, default sender ID. So this is quite good because this is sort of the automatic, um, this is what is automatically assigned as the name of whoever's, of, of the, of the text sender. Okay, so... What I mean by that is, you know, in uh, your phone, you've contacts, and whenever, say, a company contacts you, it says O2 mobile or free mobile or something like that. This is what this is. So, um, for example, I'm going to, I had radiant code in there. Um, you can only have 11 characters. So, I'm just going to say Python, okay, as our sender ID. Um, ignore Amazon S3 bucket. Uh, ignore that. Um, Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to need to click Save Changes. Important to save your changes. So, once you've done that, um, we're going to now finally get to the coding part of this um, tutorial. Okay, so now we're finally ready to get on to the Python code. So, what we need to do is import BOTO3 um, and then client equals and then boto3 uh, dot client um, and then sns because then we're using the simple notification service and then your um, region code um, so mine is eus-1 because Ireland but it'll be different depending on your closest data center so once you've uh, change that to your suiting um, do client dot publish and then phone number okay and then now right so two two apostrophes two speech marks um, so in order to not send a text message to the Russian Federation um, like I did, um, please include your region code in your phone number. So in my case, it's plus four, four, but for you, it might be different depending on your country. So, um, and also I'm going to be, uh, blacking out my phone number. Um, if my editing skills are up to power. Um, so I'm just going to type in my phone number now. Um, okay. So I have now typed in my phone number and then press comma and then my message is going to be equal to um, now let's do something easy um, just do sent using Python okay so th that those three lines of code is all we need in order to send the text message so 
whenever we run this uh, code, um, as you can probably hear, I just received the text message. Um, and I will um, display a screenshot of the text message on screen to show it's worked for me. Um, yeah, and then that's that. Of, co of course, you can um, obviously put this um, sort of uh, these two lines into a into uh, ooh, a loop um, or something um, in order to send multiple. Um, text messages at once um, so maybe you have a phone number list you can simply just format out that um, phone number for it for every thing in the loop iteration in the loop and I'm sure you can do loads of different things with the message um, thing like putting new lines in and such so yeah so that is how you send a text message using Python with an um, Amazon uh, with a simple notification service backend supplied by Amazon Web Services. Thank you for watching.